Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this uh, video, uh, I'm going to be playing another classic game by uh, SNK, released for the Neo Geo. This is Cyberlip, uh, which is a uh, horizontal scrolling type of platformer. Um, sometimes referred to as a run gun shooter, I like to call it that. Released in 1990 with SNK Neo Geo. Uh, it was later ported to the Neo Geo CD and the AES, uh, I believe, but I own this from the Neo Geo MBS. Uh, you control one of two characters, Rick or Brook, two human veteran soldiers, and you send them to combat, to the earth, or to the computer, and you can find robots, and some of its organisms, and aliens, and that sort of thing. Um, Battle through large numbers of enemies, get some power ups, and uh, get bosses. Uh, it's really reminds me of uh, Metal Slug and, and the Contra games in particular, but I actually prefer it to the Contra games. Um, I really do. I, I, I play this all the time in my uh, Neo Geo and DSRP channel. I own the actual uh, original Neo Geo and DS um, arcade cartridge. I don't unfortunately own it for the uh, Neo Geo AES because it's very expensive, but uh, here we go, it was ported to the Neo Geo CD, but generally uh, I avoid the um, CD version of the games because uh, I don't actually own the CD console because of the load times, but uh, apparently there was, in, there was improvements to the game, um, that is improved uh, voice acting and um, voice acting and um, short introduction to the game. But uh, here we have, uh, this is the boss, the first level boss and this is a, um, a uh, hideous monstrosity as you can see. Uh, it's got this um, long neck and uh, head that darts back and forth. Fires, uh, fire projectiles, keep me there, damn it. Come back on screen, uh, you have this little ship um, that can fire, rapid fire lasers for a while, and that's the end of level boss for round one killed. I do love this game, this is a game that I uh, play all of the time on my MBS Arcade Cap. I, I just love it, it's not the best game in the world, um, you know, it's probably not as good as Contra and everything else, but I prefer it, it's uh, just great. Um, sorry guys if I'm uh, slurring my words a little bit, I've not done a video in a while, I've just been out um, having a beer with my uh, mate, it's his birthday today, so um, probably not thinking straight, I uh, haven't done a video in a while, that's because of my um, studies, uh, just finished a master's degree, uh, just had the uh, research assignment and examination, that's why the videos have been uh, uh, not been many videos on my YouTube channel recently, apologies for that guys, I hope to put that straight, but uh, yeah, just enjoy myself tonight, had a few beers, so um, yeah, if the commentary is a bit all over the place and uh, slurring my words, then I apologise for that, but uh, it is what it is guys, and uh, I absolutely love this game, so I wanted to do... Uh, the gameplay and commentary on this, so uh, take it as it is. Cheers. As we have the uh, guys coming down from the chopper there. Okay, just shoot these guys. I'm not sure if it's generally who I missed. I absolutely love the Neo Geo and SM SMK games, they are absolutely superb. You can't beat them in my opinion, for arcade quality games, uh, the Neo Geo uh, are the best games in my opinion. I just love them, there's something about them that I just love, I don't know whether it's, it's the whole nostalgia of not being able to afford the games back in the day because they were bloody expensive but um, as I got older I've been picking them up on the, N uh, on the Neo Geo AES home console I only have 16 games but on the Neo Geo MVS I have about 48 to 50 games so that's a little bit better 
Um, I might actually look at um, getting the whole complete set at some point, uh, which is something I never never thought I'd do. But uh, yeah, let's see how we go, guys. And this is the uh, second level boss. Um, you can just stay here and work town and just blast away and kill him. That's it, that's him done. Brilliant stuff. Yeah, strong resemblance to uh, Contra. Um, and I loved Contra on the uh, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, one of my all-time favourite games. But this game, for me, um, yeah, I actually prefer it. Uh, graphics are better, sounds are better, because it's the, running on the superior hardware to the uh, Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh, I just absolutely love it. I play this all the time. So, didn't realise until recently how much I actually play this game. I'm still absolutely uh, dog shite at it. But uh, here we go, let's see if we can get through this game. I'm going to use uh, loads of continues, but uh, I just think about this style of game I really love. Blast those guys, turn into robots. Very much like Terminator and the Terminator 2, uh, but back in the day during this era of gaming. Copyright meant absolutely nothing, which meant that you could just rip off um, films and, and other games and you could get away with it, but now you cannot. But uh, yeah, I don't know whether it's a good thing or a bad thing back in the day, but uh, I certainly liked it. Hang off there, jump on there. Oh, damn it. Oh, on in this little uh, hover ship, the laser beam, which uh, gets you out of trouble for a little while. And over there, on the laser, it was a really good time jump, uh, which was completely uh, um, meant to do. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, shoot these lasers, shoot the terminators, carry on. Not the greatest in the world at these uh, run and gun shooters, you know, I'll be the first to admit it, but I enjoy them nevertheless, and uh, and that's the main thing with games, you know. It's not all about completing every game with just one credit, that would be nice, but, you know, here we go, we're coming here, there's another boss. Hang on to the top, shoot down, avoiding those little, uh, I don't know what they are, power wings or... Whatever. Go into those. You just want to uh, avoid those if you can. And shoot the eye in the centre. Let's keep shooting. It takes a bit of a pound in, he fires that eye off, which is a little bit cheesy, but uh, you've got to remember these games uh, were originally in the arcade, so they were designed to take your money. There's uh, people out there that complete these uh, games in one credit, but I'm not one of those guys, unfortunately. So that's another round clear. Uh, we get the bonus, we go in the door. And we go on to the uh, next level. Uh, this isn't the biggest game in the world, so uh, not sure how long it's going to take me to complete it, but hopefully not long. But uh, I do enjoy this game. You've got this little commentator that's telling you about all of the alien waves and uh, who are invading and we need to kill them and everything. I wonder if there's anything uh, sinister about him. Probably see that at the end, but uh, here we go. On to the next bit. 
I just love it, you know, I use many continues to play it, but this is the game I find on the MVS, uh, especially, oh, damn it, especially since I own the original uh, MVS cartridge. I, I play this a hell of a lot, so uh, I thought I'd do a gameplay video of it. Um, I thought I had a gameplay video of this game on my YouTube channel, but uh, no, I don't. So here we go, guys. Let's do this. Kill these enemy. Uh, just love the Neo Geo. Uh, always have, but uh, in particular at the moment, uh, I'm loving it. Love the Neo Geo Mini. Um, I thought that was really well done. It's a shame they didn't have the clicky joysticks, but uh, there's not been that has been said about those already, but uh, it doesn't matter really. Um, to me, I'm a huge Neo Geo fan. I own all the Neo Geo systems, apart from the uh, Neo Geo uh, X, I think it is, and the CD, because they're loading times, but you know, who knows, in the future, I might actually get those to complete my collection. But uh, apparently there's the uh, Neo Geo 2 and 3 that have been announced. I mean, that's really exciting news, especially for someone like me. Are they going to be um, similar devices to the Neo Geo Mini, which wouldn't be a bad thing. But uh, if they're more closely linked to the Neo Geo AES, then that would be exciting. I hate this boss, to be honest with you. That's my name, I'm just gonna press all the buttons because I can't be bothered with that. Yeah, never figured out a pattern to kill this boss. Just pound away, just move, and just hope for the best, really. Obviously, you've got to hit the red, um, main red, uh, head off this uh, weird alien, but uh, I never get around to doing that. So here we go. Absolutely love these stones. I think with me, the reason why I collect these Neo Geo uh, MVS and AES games, but to a lesser extent, is because they were so um, unobtainable back in the day. I only saw these in a little independent arcade, and they had this Neo Geo MVS arcade cab with a few games, four games I think it was, and they had the AES system, and they were selling the, the home cars, and this was right, was right where I lived. Now I'm not sure whether that was a good thing or a bad thing. I think a bad thing because I could never ever in a million years afford it. It was so expensive. Um, but I got to see it and that's where I got to experience it for the first time. And then it took years and years and years and years, probably about 20 years, before I could actually uh, afford to pick an AES system up. And that's what I picked up first. Picked up the majority of the 16 games that I own, which isn't a, you know, a lot of games, but it's okay really expensive now but uh, then after that picked up a consoleized Neo Geo MVS started picking up some of the games for that and, uh, and then obviously within the last two years the Neo Geo MVS arcade cab 4 slot which is my pride and joy of my collection um, I'm at about 48 to 50 MVS cartridges at the moment which I'm really happy with might go for a full set, but uh, I just don't know. I don't like the sort of the Japanese orientated puzzle games and, and things of that nature. So I'll have to see, really, guys. But um, the latest game I picked up was uh, a Street Fighter game. What was it called? Um, SNK versus Cat Capcom. I think it was uh, SVS Chaos or something. Uh, I could be mistaken, but uh, I think that's a game I picked up. Absolutely superb. Paid a couple of hundred dollars for that. Uh, we'll do a review of that shortly, but uh, yeah, really happy to have that in my collection. As you can see, when you get put back on, you're kind of uh, transparent. That's causing me a few problems here. I'm sure, if I recall that on the uh, Neo Geo MVS original cartridge, but uh, I'm actually running this off the Pandora's Box 5 arcade stick, which is my most convenient way to play this game. And uh, yeah, enjoy it. Enjoy the Neo Geo games on whatever platform I can play them, whether it's emulation or original hardware on this emulation device, the Pandora's Box 5. They play accurate anyway. Uh, I've compared it to the, uh, to the MVS arcade cab. 
uh, running the original cartridge and it's pretty similar to be honest with you, a few little differences but uh, here on another boss let's uh, destroy these pods and then we can go at the uh, main head of the alien this is very rem reminiscent to um, Geiger's alien vision and uh, Ridley Scott alien films I think that's where they ripped it off from but like I said to you guys back in the day copyright meant absolutely nothing to these developers uh, I really enjoy this game uh, sorry guys if I'm slurring my words uh, I have had a few to drink I haven't had a drink in a while but it was a good friend of mine's his birthday so we went around to see him so uh, happy birthday Dennis hope you had a good one mate and I will see you soon okay on with the gameplay Absolutely love this game. Not the best of it, but uh, it is superb. Something about this genre of game which uh, I absolutely love, to be honest with you. Absolutely love. It's the best thing in the world. Love my PlayStation 4, playing Hitman 2 at the moment. Absolutely love the uh, modern and current generation of gaming. But these old retro games just keep pulling me in and uh, I play these an awful lot with my sons and that's the end of the level. So here you can choose up or down. Well, I'm oh, just I'm not sure which one's better. I've never figured that one out. Here we have the uh, really, really strange commentator going on about the waves. Is there something more mysterious about him? We will see. And let's move on to the next level. Ready? dodgy jumping bits onto these platform lifts and I think they can kill you if you don't uh, jump in time but uh, let's jump from that get up there if we can oh damn it that was a really badly timed jump Robots. Let's go up here. Oh, that work. Those grenades. I love the fact how they uh, they are placed blatantly and basically the uh, Terminator, aren't they, from the early Arnie films, Ridley Scott. James Cameron as well but uh, look look at that how on earth did they get away with uh, doing that it's like back then back in the day you could get away with anything you know it wasn't the poli uh, politically correct world that we live in today which I am beginning to loathe uh, I just love the good old days which is why I get consumed in my uh, retro gaming but um, yeah, he didn't have people worrying about copyright, politically correct nature of videos, which drives me absolutely mad. Um, I love just getting lost in the uh, the old era of gaming, and this is one of those games. And I think that's why I love it so much. But uh, yeah, finally got my uh, studying out of the way, guys. My master's degree is finished, so uh, I'm hoping to get more and more videos on my YouTube channel, uh, play more and more videos. But uh, here we have another another boss. Uh, let's beat this guy if we can. Not sure how many levels there are to this game. I don't think it's from memory. I don't think it's the longest game in the world. It's been a while since I've completed it. But we'll do a complete, as always, a complete gameplay video uh, with many, 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 many continues. But uh, here we go. This is this is fantastic. And we've killed another boss. Love this game. It's a no-brainer. You can switch off. You can come and play it when you've had a few drinks, like I have tonight, and. Uh, and just enjoy it. And I go to the computer room. My name My is Cyberlink. Cyberlink. I am the supercomputer. Am the supercomputer you are looking, you are looking for. for. I'm not 
to say. I am not okay. insane. I have just been evilly reprogrammed. Evilly programmed. Okay, so is this the last level? This is a very, very short game. Shorter than I remember, but I remember it being short. Okay. So these are the doorways. Uh, you can go in each of them that, that flash up to say that you can enter. And I think these are the same bosses that you've already uh, encountered. Okay, so this is the first level boss, this monstrosity. Um, this uh, big fat uh, alien monster. Big head and big body. Kind of reminds me of one of my ex-girlfriends. Here we go, let's... Uh, Ah, that was easy. Are they easier the second time around? I'm not sure. Let's try and go in another door. It's just random, whatever flashes, whatever I'm going at that time. Okay, it's this big eye. Eye monster fires his eye off eventually. You've got to... You've got to avoid these rings. Fire at this eye that detaches from its head. Oh, didn't think I was going to make that. Thought I was going to get trapped then, but uh, I d oh, did get trapped. Cornered me. Okay, got to be be careful of these uh, cylindrical objects that get fired. Uh, circular objects that get fired across the uh, vertically across the screen. Avoid those. And you should be fine. Fire at the eye. method going and you killed that boss now we're back outside we've got to jump in another doorway will we get to the end boss i think this is the end boss so yeah i think it's just all by chance really you can uh, fight most of the other bosses but we're on this boss he is the end boss as far as i'm aware just gonna keep firing Hopefully, uh, do away with these oh, get through to the actual central body of the boss flashes to let you know that you're hitting him which is a nice touch i love that in games uh, plenty of games that don't actually do that but this isn't one of them okay let's keep firing away keep pounding away and we will uh, do this boss eventually come on Brilliant. Is that, is that done? Is that finished? Round clear? Not sure. Going a little uh, is that aircraft to uh, get taken away. Might not be the end of the game. It might be. Mission completed. You have done a good job. There are no more obstacles in our way, so we have done it. The earth is ours. So this was the, oh no, look at him. He is an alien and you're working for the alien doing his business to clear it of all human uh, threat and uh, keep it free and clear for the aliens. So that's what you've done there. Brilliant little twist at the end there. Uh, great game, glad that I own this for the uh, Neo Geo MBS system. Probably will never own it for the AES as it's uh, several hundred pounds. I uh, can't justify that cost at the moment, but I've got exactly the same game here for the MBS. This was played on the Pandora's Box 5 arcade stick. Uh, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video, guys. It was a short game. This was um, really a, a tester the later M, um, MVS and AES uh, Metal Slug games so um, this game came first brilliant game hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit the uh, thumbs up like button and uh, if you want to see more subscribe to my channel for future videos okay cheers guys thanks for watching and I will see you in another video